Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got the D-Reaper mat, along with Impmon and Geomon helping us out. Uh, and this is another video in the line of the Digimon shopping experience. Uh, today, it's something from AliExpress. Uh, and the D-Reaper mat, uh, and Geomon and Impmon kind of have something to do with it. Not so much the D-Reaper, but D-Reaper's on point with them. And we don't get to take out the D-Reaper mat very often because uh, other than things that have to do with them, there's not too much that we're going to be able to take this out on, on unless they give more D-Reaper support for D-Reaper decks, which I would like to see. I'd like to see some more support, but I don't think they need it. But it'd be fun. Uh, I have started to ramble, so let's get back on track. I have this binder. This binder I got at a big box retailer. Uh, I believe it was about $8, but we're not looking at the binder. What we're looking at is some DIM card holders. And I picked these up. They were $7.75 each. Uh, I picked up four of them. And I want to just... They weren't packaged great. So, like, it's hard to tell, but over here... Like, they have arrived a little damaged. But, that said, they work fine. Uh, and really, I have them to protect the cards. So I'm not too concerned about the pages themselves. Uh, but each page holds eight cards. I'm going to have to move these around when I get some more. I also need to get one more page because I just am under uh, the full count but uh, I I do like this it's a nice place to keep them because uh, before I was keeping them in this box uh, which I had gotten from the original vital bracelet so this was like kind of the box that it came in and as you can see I still got some of the cards in there uh, some of the fake dim cards I got uh, the American release and then I've also got these dim kit card holders, which they've got some in there. This one does. I don't think the other one does. Um, these are nice, but they were very limited, and it's incredibly hard to find these. Uh, so I wouldn't really suggest getting these over this. If you have, like, five, four or five dim cards, this would be fine. If you have a lot more, I would definitely suggest this. Especially because this one is, like, impossible to get now. Because this is the Stingmon one. Uh, and that one is very expensive at this point. But yeah, they hold eight cards each. So, I'll give you a show of, like, what, uh, what they kind of look like and what my collection is currently. Uh, you got the Impulse City, which was the first one. Uh, Black Roar, which was the pre-order bonus. Uh, the Gabumon and Agumon ones. Um, they came in a pair. Uh, the Metabots uh, one, which, if you aren't familiar, uh, which I didn't really notice, is in Japanese, it's actually Metarot instead of Metabot. So just a little interesting bit of trivia there. Uh, then I've got the Ancient Warrior uh, with the Primeval Warrior. Um, and Dynasty of Evil. These are like this because, obviously, DNA Digivolve, but these are the two that came with uh, those card holders that I showed you. Uh, Wizardmon came with one, Stigmon came with the other. And then we move on to the next batch. Uh, and we've got Volcanic Beat, Blizzard Fang, Infinity Tide, Titan of Dust, uh, Hermit of the Jungle, New Metal Empire, and then Espamon, and uh, Ryudamon. And these again, I organize like this because these two came in a pair, these two came in a pair, these two came in a pair, these two came in a pair. So that's, this was very nice the way that this lays out. Um, I definitely enjoy it. And then the next page uh, is, again, what we got 
Impmon, and Geomon helping us out because we've got uh, the Renamon, the Geomon, the Impmon, the Monodramon, uh, the other Renamon, Geomon, uh, and then we got Gammon down here and Terriermon. Uh, and that's kind of like because I need to, like I said, I need to reorganize these as soon as I get another page. Um, because I'll have some empty spaces at that point. Uh, if I don't, then I can probably move stuff around. But I wanted these seven all on the same page. And he just happened to land there. So, whoops. And then the final page, we got Jellymon and Angoromon. And then we got the Frontiers with Agunimon, uh, Wolfmon, Ferrymon, uh, Blitzmon, uh, Chakmon, and uh, Lowrymon. Um, and yeah, like, again, this works out very well for these six. You kind of have to put two that don't belong there. Uh, if you wanted to buy more pages, you totally could. Um, and then the backs, they're all just plain, which kind of I wish they did do something different with these cards for the backs. It's unfortunate that they didn't, but really you'd only see it in this kind of situation. And there is like some space with this one where it's not like connecting entirely, but they don't really shift so much out of place. Like, I can take this and I can just shake it around. And like, that one came a little bit loose, but a little back and it is just back in there. So yeah, you just kind of have to watch out just the tiniest bit. But the fact that these all stay in here and are nice to display is just great. Uh, I definitely would suggest this if you have a bunch of dim cards uh, from the original ones. Because unfortunately, the newer dim cards, uh, which I, one that I haven't gotten to yet, is uh, like the new uh, Angoromon dim card. This is no card in it. This means that I can't put it in here. And there's slightly beef here. Uh, so putting them in the other holders, which I do have one or two in there, I'm worried it's going to stretch out that foam, so I'm probably going to take them out. I have to figure out something to do with them. Maybe I'll buy another page of these and just try to have some loose in there. But I don't know how well that would look. So I'm really not a fan of the new way that they did it. I do like the cards. Uh, I think it looks pretty. I think this is a very nice look uh, to go for, which I definitely enjoy. Uh, and all said and done, uh, those pages were 7 to 75 a piece. I got four of them, so that was $31 even. Um, and I think with the binder, that's probably about 40 bucks, we'll call it. I think this is well worth it. I, I would definitely suggest getting this if you have as many dim cards as I do. If you have fewer, um, there's probably something else you could do. Like, I can just, I can have this somewhere, and then I can flip open to it, I can look at it, uh, I could Put them somewhere i could take out the dim cards which it's not that hard to do i just realized i should probably show you that so the fronts are recessed uh, and the backs are indented i guess would be the proper term so if you want to take them out you have to go from the back and you just gotta carefully open them up and then we've got these nice grooves there so you can just easily picture whichever one you want out. So it's very easy to take them out, use them, put them back, close it back up. And there's this middle part that you gotta remember to push down and then you just push the corners back and you're all set to go. And this was one of the ones, uh, this is the one which is damaged. So even this damaged one works fine, which is why I'm not too concerned about it. But yeah, altogether, 40 bucks to have all the original DIM cards nice and ordered. I do need to now to print out uh, something for this front to make it look nice and snazzy. 
Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna get one more page. So overall, 50 bucks to make it look nice. But if you have this many dim cards, you are not strapped for the cash. So I would definitely suggest, yeah, pick it up. If you have fewer than that, if, if you've got only like eight, then doing it like this would be fine. Um, if you have not even fewer than, yeah, one of these is fine. But again, like, you can see the BE memories. They're kind of pushing weird. So I'm not sure how easy they are um, to keep in there. But overall, I'd give it like a solid 9 out of 10. I definitely, I definitely like them. If, if they came in in perfect condition and weren't damaged, 10 out of 10. Um, but that's something you just kind of have to be aware of when you are shopping on some place like AliExpress. Because... That is going to happen. Like, I win with the knowledge of like, all right, this could be a total bust. So I'm fine with that. So 9 out of 10 would definitely suggest them. Before we head out, we always like to open up some cards. And I got one more pack of Across Time. So let's open this one up and see what we can get. So gotten all the cards in the set so there's not too much else that we need i think i spotted a baby there we got guillemon on point zenimon ebi bergamon otamamon pelomon mercurymon shoutmon damimon rioma burning graymon Final Ekros Blade. Nine cost. Main. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon. Then you may unsuspend one of your Shoutmon X7 Superior Mode cards and attack a player with it. Security. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon. You're going to use this in a Shoutmon deck. Otherwise, you're not going to use it. Yo! We got an alternate art. Gallantmon! That's first that's on point for having Guillemon out. But second off, like, getting an alternate art super rare as the final card of this set that I will probably open, at least for a while, that is crazy good. And I just realized, he's fighting Beelzemon, which is Hintmon's. Those two definitely came out for the right pack. Uh, 12 play costs, 4 Jibushi costs, 12,000 DP. Has the raid ability. When Digivolving, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. When attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. If no opponent's Digimon was deleted by this effect, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. I like this one. Definitely would go good with the other Gallimon, which ups that deletion ability. Um, so I think it's like a good side, uh, like secondary Mega for it. Especially with like uh, the Takato, where he can... Help the Guillemon warp Digivolve with stuff from the trash. Definitely a nice card. Really great to get this out. It's the last card in the set. I love getting alternate arts. They're just, they're always great to get. Uh, you always love seeing them. And just get one out of a loose pack. It just ups that kind of wow factor for me. So yeah. This was a great video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know. If you uh, also, give it a good old thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't, please do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It really does help the channel. And as always, until then, I will see you next time.